So here is a solid prism. I will work out the volume of the prism. Well, we'll notice with the prism that we have a shape at the front that is what we call the cross section. That uh, sort of L shape, if you like, works its way all the way through the shape right to the top end without changing. So we must um, refer to our formula. If we have a prism, the volume equals the area of the cross section times the length of consistency. So I'll cross section our area at the front. Now, the area at the front, uh, we need to work that out. The cross section is fairly, so the, the length is quite um, simple. The length you can see clearly is 20. So it's our area really that presents the problem. So I'll just rub out the, um, the cross section for a moment. Well, I don't seem to be able to um, rub it out for the moment. We can still work with this. So we take the um, we take the L shape into two separate rectangles. So I'll draw them here. So the first rectangle that I'm sort of showing you there is 11 times 4. So that's going to have an area 11 times 4 of 44. Now the small small area at the top. So we'll do that here. That extra bit there is going to be 5 across the top and it's going to be this distance here and we can work that distance out because we know that it's 4 ok there's your 4 there up to the top of the first rectangle it's 7 all the way to the top of the both rectangles put together so the missing dimension we need is 3 so that gives an area then of 5 times 3 which gives 15 so the area of both our rectangles 1 and 2 comes to 59 let them together and you get 59. So our final volume then is going to be 59 times 20. Now that's going to be 590 times 2. This is a calculator paper so you could do that um, but the answer to that will be 20 short of 1200 because 590 is 10 short of 600 so that's going to be 1180 centimeters cubed and that's your answer.